Today we're talking photography prints and more specifically, printing your own photos at home. So I recently purchased a printer to print my own photography and I have been obsessed. I've got some prints that I've been doing over here on eight and a half by 11, but um, today I got a package with some bigger printing paper, which I'm super excited about. So we're gonna test some of that stuff out. And while we're at it, I'm gonna talk to you guys about why it's a good idea to print your own photos. All right, so why print your photos in the first place? Honestly, print one single photo and I won't have to tell you anything else. Seeing one of your photos on paper is such a cool feeling and really breathes new life into your photos. We're so used to nowadays seeing all these photos go through our Instagram feed or you're on our tiny computer screens. So seeing them on print in an actual larger format than anything bigger than your smartphone basically is just something else. I've been using this glossy photo paper and that in itself is enough to make it look so much cooler than looking at it through a screen. There's nothing you can do on a computer to make a photo look like that and really just makes it stand out. Having your photos on print helps you out with your editing as well. So once you start printing your photos, you're gonna notice a lot more detail in these shots. And all of a sudden you might notice some grain or a sloppy clone stamp job that didn't really matter when you were just posting a photo online, but seeing it in print, now you can really see these details and you have to fine tune your edit to make it just perfect. For real, I printed this photo out like four times to get what I actually wanted. All right, so you're stoked on your own photos, cool, but what are some other reasons to want to print your own photos? Obviously, photo prints make some pretty cool gifts, but aside from that, I've been starting to sell my photos online, and that's a pretty great way to make some extra money as a photographer. I mean, if you're like me, you've been shooting photography for a few years now, and you have a whole bunch of pictures that you basically posted once or twice on Facebook or Instagram and then forgot about. They're just lying on your hard drive and not doing anything anymore. By printing my own photography, I've been able to go through a whole backlog of photos that I've taken and effectively turn them into profit without really doing much work. I mean, I've already been to the locations, I've shot the photos, I've already edited them, and with some very minor tweaks in the editing process, I'm able to print these beautiful images and sell them online for a profit. I mean, why not? But why would you go through the hassle of buying a printer, buying your paper, buying your inks, which are pretty expensive, all to do your own prints when you can actually just have a company do it for you. There's literally hundreds of websites out there that exist that let you basically upload your photo gallery to their website. Clients can view them directly on their website, select which size they want, the kind of photo finish, how they want it posted, and they'll basically just print it and ship it out to you. They'll take a small fee. Voila, it's done. But personally, the one thing I don't like about these companies is that you don't actually get to see your prints before you send them off to your clients. They all do it for you, it's great. It takes no time, it takes no effort. It doesn't cost that much. They don't take a huge fee. But I really, really enjoy being able to print my own photos and if I don't like the way a photo came out or if I wanna tweak something for whatever reason, well, I can, I don't have to ship out everything that I print. So I'm able to test these prints, do different sizes, do different colors, do different edits on photos and see what works and be able to get the best product that I can to my customers. Honestly, unless you're doing hundreds and hundreds of prints, I don't see why you'd go any other route. I personally really enjoy being able to do it myself. It's a process that I do enjoy doing, so maybe that's uh, not for you and you just want to make some money, sure, go with a company, but it is really fun to print your own photos. Speaking of which, we've got some paper to test out. For those who want to know, I've been using the Pixma Pro 100 printer by Canon, which actually comes on sale pretty often and is relatively cheap to buy. 
and uh, I've been using this Photo Paper Plus Glossy 2. I've been using that 8.5 by 11, but now I'm testing out the 13 by 19, which should be really cool. All right, so this is gonna be the photo we're gonna be printing. Look at that, Woo! I'm always hesitant to take these until they dry, but Ooh! Yes! I'm so stoked right now, honestly. Look at this thing, I don't wanna put my fingerprints all over it, but look at it, Woo! Looking hot. But yeah, I'm really stoked on this print. I don't really know what to do with it. I think I'm gonna be giving this away. So, sub to this channel, drop a comment in this video, anything, just comment anything, doesn't matter what it is, but be sure to be subscribed and in two weeks time, I'll check back in and pick a random winner. This channel is super small, so if you made it this far in the video, odds are good for you. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please give this video a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you aren't already. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.